Hey everybody, welcome back to another book segment. This time, Ashley is taking you into one from Sharon Creech, one of her favorites called Chasing the Red Bird. This book is, of course, for preteens, but I definitely recommend it as well for adults to try out. If you remember Sharon Creech well, she is the awesome author of Walk Two Moons and Absolutely Normal Chaos. So, the best way to put this in Chasing Red Bird, Zimmy Taylor is a 13-year-old main character that she, well, just kind of wants a quiet life to herself. She has a, she's part of seven kids alone and kind of lives out slightly in the middle of nowhere of Kentucky. And for her, this is not easy to handle. She feels crammed in and lost and just, well, she seems to also be made fun of a lot in this story by her own siblings. She wants to retreat to the quiet side of her Uncle Nate and Aunt Jessie's life that they had, which, spoiler, sorry, Aunt Jessie dies. And she wants to go back to that quiet time where she was spoiled by them while finding her identity. So she sets out at one point to, well, start a digging this trail that she finds. This thing goes for miles, and for her, this is a sense of finding herself and being able to separate herself from her family and truly come into her own and identity. Of course, along the way, there's also Jake Boone. Well, it becomes a little bit of a problem for her, but at the same time, it kind of opens her, up, her eyes up a little bit more to life. Because he does seem to like her, but he shows in ways that he shouldn't do. Kind of like stealing somebody's puppy, taking jewelry. In a way, they're all innocent things that he's done, but also bad for him trying to show those forms of love. But... In the end, the story itself will kind of take you in a little bit with a bit of comedic flair and at the same time, just giving an understanding of what it's like being a lost middle child and just without your full identity. So if you haven't yet, remember, check out Chasing Ripper by Sharon Creech. We'll actually have some pretty good fun with it.